Hey guys, the Langbanger here. Got another deck profile for you, and this is my Exceed Gadget deck. Now, as I mentioned previously in a video, at least I'm pretty sure I did, I absolutely love number 16, Chalkmaster. This card recently came out. You get the card by being subscribed to the Shonen Jump Alpha or, you know, whatever the hell it's called. I mean, I don't read the book or anything like that. I got the subscription just to get this card. And icing on the cake, I'm going to be getting promos throughout the year. So that's a really nice plus. But it was easily worth my money because it's a rank 4 light fairy. You need three level four monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one exceed material from this card to declare a card type, monster, spell, or trap. That type of card, if it's a spell or trap, cannot be activated or if monster cannot activate its effects until the end of your opponent's next turn. As I said, amazing card. It's essentially a cold wave and a heat wave pretty much in one I mean you know you can make arguments to that statement but you guys pretty much understand what I'm trying to say there well anyways I am on a mission to see what deck can utilize Shockmaster the most how is the easiest way to summon it well I did post a gladiator beast build and it was based on prismas and hero lives and of course you're using tigers that's a neat idea but let's see how this one goes. I'm probably like three minutes into the video. I like to talk. Sorry! But, anyways, on to the deck itself. You have three Valor, two Green Gadget, two Gwaiba, one Velo, three Thrasher, two Red, two Yellow. That's the monster lineup. For the spells, Dark Hole, three Lance, one Reborn, one Avarice, one Moon, three MST, and Heavy. For the traps, 3 Call of the Haunted, 2 Ultimate Offering, 2 Zone of the Spirit, 2 Bottomless Trap Hole, 2 Solemn Morning, 1 Solemn Judgment, and Starlight Road. As you can see with my build, I really want to bring out Shockmaster. But what's cool with some of the choices I'm using, if I can't go in the Shockmaster, it's not the end of the world. And the reason being, I have access to Dinosaur Exceeds, Lagia, and Dolka via my Guaybas. That's sweet because those cards can also lock your opponent down. See what's cool, Shockmaster is Lagia and Dolka essentially in the one. Can negate whatever you want. But, you know, let's say you can't go in the Shockmaster. Now you have the option, Lagia or Dolka. Which one do you want? You know, they all have their ups and downs. Depends on what you play against. So, you know, you'll just have to see what to make for each scenario. But, um, you know, outside of the dinosaurs, you can just do a normal Exceed Summon, going in the Utopia, going in the Roach. There's so many monsters out there that need, you know, three materials to make a uh, Exceed. Um, I mean, I'm just using Shockmaster, but there's also that Illuminate, and then there's another one, I forget the name of it, but, you know... To sum it up, you want to make exceeds, you're going to make things hard on your opponent. They're going to have to waste cards, do plays they don't want to do, and pretty much just mess up your board. Because if you have a Shockmaster out, if you have a Logia, a Dolka, I mean all these cards can just cause havoc on your opponent. You can even bring out Steel Swarm Roach and just put in work, go to town, yada yada. It's also cool that we have Gem Knight Pearl. That is a rank 4. 2600 attack so right there that can get over a lot of stuff logia dolka stardust if anyone uses that anymore i wish people did slash do but you know what can you do but uh enough of me talking um for the more competitive people out there you guys probably won't want to use them of the spirits I'll be completely honest with you that was just more so of a you know fun touch because like i said I don't know how many times I've said it now. Leave comments down below on how many times I talked about Shockmaster. But I want to get that fucker out and it's going to win me the duel. Especially if I can put some protection behind it. So let me know what you guys think of the stack. Let me know 
if I should do duels with this deck by thumbs upping the video and favoriting it. Thank you for watching and hey, have a good day.